but happy to be back in the saddle and ready to get into Vitality Ents Mirage. Starting on the defense will be the French and Ents, the international roster, who made a lot of changes in pursuit of glory. The last of the old guard in Alu departing the roster, at least stepping down. And we've got this four-man mid-glock presence, and they're already testing Masuta. He's very ambitious to be going for wide swings like that. And now, Bolitz is starting to connect to Soa headshots. Apex does well, trades are in, 2v2. Snappy with the bomb on his back, the ramp one for one, and you can see Kyojin holds strong. Okay, so things have changed, it seems. Vitality one, ends nil. Alrighty then, well, this is a, another question mark, right? With Bad News Bears, to expect them to be able to bring a lot to the table, you'd be very, very optimistic. With Ents, though, it's more a question of how far away are they from Tier 1 competition? Now, the just touched on it a bit. Hades coming in, this will be a true test for him. It looks like we have a little bit of a technical issue. You know how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Always out the gates. Oh, we should get this one sorted and back underway ASAP. Now, uh, I want to keep my eyes on Masuta here as uh, the individual for Vitality to see if he can continue to fill this role that is seeming like he is going to become the second star of this team. We know that... Uh, Apex and Shox are towards the twilight years of their career, right? Apex obviously picking up the in-game leadership role, and Shox now... Uh, look, he's definitely not a... as to just how difficult it has become, right? Everybody has fine-tuned those little details mm. of the game now, right? Everybody understands this game has been out for such a long period of time, and uh, we are seeing individuals getting better and better, and all these different tools that are available to help them refine those little bits and bobs. But let's get back underway. As you can see, not a very long technical issue by any means. And Zywoo, straight out window, going to be charging up middle. Kyojin, another man here with that silent stem four who we're going to have to keep an eye on. But it looks like Snappy and Co. are setting themselves up for a bit of an A set piece here. The smokes are out through the sky. They're going to get what should be a free A site for a plant here. A retake setup has been deployed from Vitality. Yeah, Hades is going to be bringing that bomb in now, and no one can contest Huge it. gap there. Yeah, a big gap in the smoke, sure. But they are across. Snappy jumping across, and it's Apex to try and keep them at bay with a Thanos. Yojin, aggressive. Good flash for the swing. Snappy unable to deliver. Bomb now ticking. Ents have done well to get this bomb down. If they could just find a frag, they could be a way back in. Incendiary will make things difficult, as will Kyojin as he knocks a head off of another. Doto's Deeg, only good for the one. And now Deeg are just desperately hiding in the off angle, hoping not to be cleared. If he could just deny the first, maybe there's more to be said. Deeg stands for another, but close. 14 HP remaining on Apex. They've got plenty of time for the defuse. But Ents getting something out of that second round force. Yeah, keeping it competitive. And with that plant again, look, if they had one more kill, they might consider going for another buy here. But I think this time round, it should just be the partial investment. Next round, bring out those full AK-47s, all that utility. You're in the realms of possibility for another partial, so all good. Can keep it competitive for sure. But it was clear that Vitality were happy to play a bit of a retake so that there you could just see nobody deep within the site, nobody under shadow. They were playing from afar. And great stuff from Masuta. Yeah, damn, that long-range MP9. Nice little burst, good control. And Dihad did very well to hide in that perfect. Like, you, you know people are going to jump to try and clear it. He hid to the point where he wasn't cleared. And we're off again. It looks like quite fast into way. In fact, oh, yeah, they look, did force. The Lils are out. They're in. And already, one of them's out. Snappy, first of four. CT's a problem. They'll plant connect side. That looks like a great incendiary. Destined for success. Sphinx will be forced away from the line. Bomb not down yet, it's loose, and the bodies keep dropping for enemies. Trades thick and oh, fast. Boy. Shocks another, they keep strafing out from CT. It, let, it does start to calm in a 1v2. That bomb now down, Masuta tags up here on the cross. Back nade looks great. Bang, straight on the nose in a 1v1 established. He's got a smoke, he's got a kit. This should be a chance for Masuta. Looks the wrong way right now. Half health, and the time is ticking in his favor. Yeah, he's going to clear out ramp and under dark, but time getting a bit sensitive now. Smoke and a hold. Fakes it out. Smoke deployed as well. Sphinx does reveal his location, but now no time. time is on his side. The suit up. There we go. A little too far gone. Sphinx will collect. <laughs> Looks like time was a problem there as well. So a little bit late on that defuse right there. But the four spies, uh, I guess it's been one out from Ents, right? The fact that they got another plant there. Everybody goes down. So money's in a bit of a weird spot for both teams here. 
uh, Ent should have the better buy, and they're actually the ones to take the time out. This is going to give a chance for Vitality to have a conversation about things here as well. But persistence looks like it's key. like a regular occurrence in our lifestyle in our lifestyle he's probably watching this so hi to Natu Hello, I'd say he Natu. definitely is watching this yeah a uh, quick little note going into the next round of play round number four Apex sacrificed everything here he's dropped an AWP across to Zaiwu he had 470 well, 4750 smackaroos and there you go the orbs already struck so exactly what they wanted out of this profiting with an opening Perfect. Yeah, now Vitality don't really feel at too much of a disadvantage. It's Deagle's up against AKs. But Zaiwu's AWP has already put his name into the kill feed. And pressure now from Hades. He's found at least spotted out one. Zaiwu's here to punish, though. And it's, ooh, a missed shot. They know where the AWP is now. It won't stop the commit. In fact, here they come. Snappy, Deha, both connecting. Problem for Shox as he advances. He's ahead of the molly, but for how long? Yeah, that should confirm things. Three versus two. The bomb now down. And Apex and Kyojin hastily retreat for a save. Yeah, just backing off here. And look, it's not a huge amount to hold on to. Apex with the sidearm of the Deagle, they can drop that across for another round of play. Kyojin would love to get his hands on something. And you can see he's hanging out over towards CT spawn. I think Ents will do good to hold on to their guns as well now. Want to start to consolidate a bit of a CT, uh, sorry, T-sided economy there here. There is an AWP on site though. I'm surprised Snappy hasn't gone in pursuit of it. Whether it's the AWP or the Famas from Shocks, something that's not the MAC-10. He is still on the site and he is going hunting. I hope he will uh, treat himself right. They're having a look for it. Where is it gone? Where is it gone? Zywoo threw it as far as he could. They actually can't find it, so... Can our Rob's team find it? Here's a fun game, boys. You've got five seconds. Good luck, MC. MC's desperately hunting for the AWP, but yeah, just gone. Absolutely missing. Don't know how Zywoo managed to make it disappear. Uh, over on the site. Threw it to orbit or something like that. So he did open up nicely. That's two for two on Zywoo's mid so far. Yeah, you wouldn't be expecting that as well, just because of the way that these, these rounds have gone and the fact that Apex basically sacrificed everything to make that one happen. I reckon th it, it went up on the box. Looking at where Zywoo died, he yeah. just tossed it up on the, uh, the boxes to his corpse. Okay, so they've got those deagles. They've got that AK. Apex is actually holding on to that. Bit of mid-util coming out again, and here ends go once more. Mid-control granted. Nobody really wanted to put up too much of a fight, and utility towards connector to hold them at bay, but this boost... Sharks might be able to find something here. Oh, they've scuffed it. Cancel that, and it's a great punish. Snappy could get more here. Apex, however, with the AK, and Kyojin as well, suddenly arrives. Problem for Ents, this is supposed to be their round, and now Deagles are tagging up. Deha down to 56, and Apex on for three. Fourth as well to finish the job. It's only Deha. Apex will be bested. Two to Deha's name and one more to find. It's Kyojin. Up against him and lots of time. A battle of wits between the two. And easy as that, Kyojin loses his head. And it's got a bit scary there towards the end. They ran into the uh, only rifle that was preserved. Vitality do very well to make that costly. Really good bygone. And Kyojin's one of these guys who loves that silence down forward to get a little bit messy for a moment there on shore. You see all those bodies hit the deck. Mopped on up, and here we go again. Back into the gun rounds and fast towards middle once more. The flash is good. Zaiwu cannot contest and quickly and scurry to get this top mid control window smoke to be thrown out from Hades. And they're already controlling this avenue. Deha would have caught a little slither there out some CT sided util. They don't have a huge amount to work with here. Shox has taken some damage only a little bit through the smoke and well, regathering to fight this. They want to boost over towards the bricks once more. Oof, that's Shox. Big opener. Makes up for his uh, shortcomings in the previous. Same boost. Different result. Didn't slip off this time and so Ents now having to stomach a man disadvantage. They are split up quite evenly. Snappy still lingering to how in control of the be aggression and it looks like Masuta's is not interested in any of that. Thought Snappy had a pretty passive line, but he's been hunted down through the mid smoke. Then Saiwoo tucked in. 
Oh. He's been spotted out. It's big find from Spinks. Dodo, if he can force Apex to focus on that palace position. This could get problematic for him. He's got a lovely sweet spot between the util, though. This should enable the frag from Apex, but if not more. First found, Hades down, and now Spinks with his double. Problems for Ents, though. That bomb cannot go down, especially with Masuta just pushing through the smoke. He's going to pull them off it, and that's as easy as it gets. Tagged up, but they're the ones to zip up the body bags. 3-3, and Ents down to the trying buy of 1,600 on the low end. So they and accept. Yeah, those plants were really good early, right? The fact that they were getting into those force buyers, being able to get the bomb down, helped to keep the money there, and that's how they were able to get on the board early. But now... Forcing again? Yeah. Look, it is definitely one way to make sure the CT side economy doesn't get too out of control. Right here, right now, they're still kept pretty honest, and it's looking like a fast B play. Tech 9s, AKs, they're just biffing. There's 3B from Vitality on the opener. Apex to play short, but he'll be able to react very quickly if... I guess it's an if. Masuda needs help. He's already dropped out. The util drops the player. Spinks burning. And more bullets to come. A chance from Diha. Problem though. He's losing teammates left and right. Masuda lines up a second. He's burning as well. And three frags just like that. This force by flat as a pancake. Vitality don't even break a sweat. And that is going to hurt. They're going to see the gap now start to grow. Vitality pulling away. Well, this is odd, isn't it? It's a little bit jarring. It is difficult. A little bit. Do we, do we say it out loud? Or I guess we can. Are we professionals? Well, no, look, we are professionals, but more so maybe if we do sound a little bit off, uh, we are getting a um, different audio than what you guys are receiving at home. So it's just out of sync. So it, it's quite weird when you hear the gunshots before the frags come in, but we'll, we'll do our, our bestest. This will just be a full economical right now, not anything invested whatsoever. Apex being diligent up towards mid here, dropping his utility to flush anybody out of those yeah. hidey holes. <laughs> you know you'd be mad if you were hiding in that doorway for sure. He might get a chance for a couple kills here, Apex, you know. And I guess while we have him on screen, this was uh, another individual I reached out to from Group A just to have a conversation. Uh, I asked Apex when they returned. I think he said it was uh, last Monday they returned. So they've had a week worth of practice. They've been at their boot camp facility. And uh, he said they have high expectations or high hopes uh, for the second half of the season. So uh, I guess that means the tail end of the year. I'm sure they'd be pretty disappointed with their uh, Cologne performance. I think that they, a lot of teams and other players quite they, they themselves did. And uh, just couldn't quite meet those expectations in the first land back. So I think that's probably going to be a, a big motivating factor. Yeah, I think uh, for the team itself, you know when you're bringing Kyojin in to take over somebody like RPK's roles, there's going to be a betting in period, yeah. as well as the fact that Masuta was also last year, remember, a rookie. We were going back to land. So there's a lot for them to adapt to. And this is a team that has Zaiwu in it, right? And, and I think the desk were pointing out they were comparing Zaiwu's stats uh, to, to simple stats. And look, one of the questions is, and it has been a conversation with Vitality in the past, is, you know, do you just do everything to, to give Zaiwu everything, or do you try and have the team function fully? Well, maybe that's a question they're still trying to work out with this new constellation of the roster. But back underway, we go with the rifle rounds, and down towards Connector is Snappy, leading from the front here. Be anticipating Apex and he gets a lovely freebie back turned. I say free, Doto ensures it's not far from gratuit. And there's two, maybe get three up towards the mid side. They'll go for a silent boost. Now, Shox is patrolling for this exam. Hello, hello, collect. And Zaiwu advancing onto Diha, who's got a bit of a rock and a hard place scenario. Shox on one side, Zaiwu on the other. And even tucked in, concerned about the B aggression, so he's considering three angles right now. 60 seconds on the clock, and it is going to be Zaiwu, given the first and even a dink into Hades. The god of the underworld going to have to work with just a shoestring budget of HP. Toto's here with him as well over towards middle. Has the bomb on his back. The problem is... Both sides are pretty heavily fortified right now. Kyojin can just sit and wait for any sound cues. And, well, there's one. If Hades is not wallbanged here, there's a chance. And so far, so good. So he gets it down. Kyojo really does have to play for his life here. Kyojin, very quick. And now all the problems for Hades. He just doesn't have the health for this. Does well to take down Kyojin. Shocks right there behind him for the trade. 
And we will see Vitality just edge themselves further away here on the defense. That's six now. Three round discrepancy between the two. Yeah, but that plan is great. It means that Ents can at least have the conversation of do they want to go for a buy here. Now we've seen them operate with Galils. We've seen them go for those force buy scenarios. Uh, at the high end, we've got Hades at 4.7. We've got 4K on a bunch and just under for a few. So they should be able to make a buy work. And as I'm saying that, and you get to watch these lovely little replays, that buy is coming into fruition once more. And it really feels like Ents want to have some pace about this. They don't want to play this slow game. They want to kind of bully their way into all these different corridors. Mid seems to be on the dock at once more. As so we're back underway, Dodo and Hades, top mid control. Dehan spins over towards A, and Snappy just set them up in middle, and now he's rotating all that way back over to help the boys out. Looking like they want to do a bit of an A split here. Zaiwu waiting top connector. Apex in Sandwich and Kyojin. Well, he's got a lot of baiting to do on that site, try and draw them in. Zaiwu, that's high level gameplay right now. Essentially, completely nullifies the T smoke deep, unless they want to take a chance. It seems like they do as their teammates arrive ramp, they snake on through. It's going to be a very solid pincer movement. Here comes the frag. They're going to accelerate on this. Good from the double Ds. Diha, Doto, double. Should be a plan. Save. The suitor and Shock's not interested at all. Yeah, yeah, immediately there should be the save call, right? Because you consider this, they'd have to rotate through, clear out window, have to worry about jungle. There's also a middle that is a bit of a problem. And speaking of problems, Hades is already on the hunt right now. So up through underpass, he might find both Shocks and Masuda who are currently residing up towards the B apartments. So touched in to, tucked in towards that kitchen. Shock's a little bit more passive here. But they'd be working wonders to strip some guns away from this CT-sided economy, but he might be looking in the wrong direction. Back and forth he goes. How far do they want to push the issue here? This will be the fourth for Ents. It looks like they'll leave it there. So Hades containing Snappy Dodo and Spinks back towards Spawn where they started the round. Secured and plenty of money for Vitality going forward. They can get an AWP. Shox has 11k. He can drop an AWP for Zywu. No dramas. Apex can buy himself. And if Masuda really feels like it, he can hook Kyojin up as well. He's got 4.3, so there's enough there to make a buy work no matter what. But what approach do they want to look for right now? Do they want to stop this mid take, right? You can drop that top mid smoke, maybe put a couple mollies, maybe be a little bit more aggressive and, and fight middle, completely remove and negate that part of the map. Here's Mr. Animated himself. Apex on your screen. There's late a push. Late window smoke as well, yeah. So they're going to be flying through the ocean. Oh, running straight into the orb. D is there. The missed shots from Hades. Apex causing some serious, serious chaos early on towards the B side of the map. Needs to get out now, though, doesn't he? Yeah, but he's got just enough oh. cover and just enough time to slink back in towards the A site. And now none the wiser. Ent's going to have to try and piece this one together again. Where did that Frenchman go? They still have to be worried about it, right? You can yeah. see Hades still posted up watching this underpass position. They will need to clear it out or assume that there is a player lying in wait. Smoke. I'll make that a Molotov towards window from Snappy coming on out here. And then they're just going to retool and regather back through spawn with that bomb. So Snappy to stay around middle, the rest of them to group to hit A. Ballsy of vitality to be pulling out a two man underpass for the full gun round. Oh. And there's a big duel from Snappy to be winning. Apex. That's going to solve so many things. Not only gives them the man advantage, they found the missing man from that underpass exchange. So regathering, retooling, 45 on the clock. No rush necessarily. There's only an incendiary to keep them at bay for now from the CT's remaining. Oh, it's passed. <sighs> Just a glimpse of the elbow of Hades. And Zywu's not missing much into the head of Doto. More problems for Ents. And that's not the only man waiting to receive you on the site. Another wide swing confirms it's Tetris and plucks him from the air. It's snappy to do it all. He won't clear his corners. And it's all too easy for shocks to collect. Great shooting from Zywu and does ward them off the A site for future rounds. Yeah, it felt like shocks was a safety net there regardless, right? Because you knew that Zywu was going to get at least one. And then shocks could have mopped up the rest, but not really needed until that final frag there. And oh, Vitality up to seven. Now, this is much more competitive than our first series in the day. And this jarring push, I guess it takes the surprise away, right? If they push and they, they're able to kind of put Ents on the back foot, Snappy's now having a call with the mystery around the corner. They're not able to necessarily set the tone in the way that they'd like, but the guns are back out. Oh, they're pushing again. Okay, and Zywu's going to bodyguard the top mid through the one way. Now, three members on the bomb, our B side. Zywu, a tag into Snappy's toes. He will re out successfully. 
There's more on mid. Oh, it's not far off, you know. Doto does well to find one nearly a second, despite his boots being late to the ground. Hit B. Yeah, Masuta's alone. Shox is desperately scrambling over there, and the util he's thrown out has kept them at bay in time. The rotate's there just, just in the nick of time. Masuta there, Shox, Apex. Masuta, oof, shy of the mark, and Diha quick to convert. Three versus three, and they're looking to get that bomb down. Apex makes no secret of his CP presence. Nade looks good for He's a little summon, but yeah, Nade was a 3v2, oh. and whew, Shox, quick on the AWP. He needs two more, though. And they'll play the angles. Very difficult for shocks to find both of these independently. One on either side of the site. Oh, he hasn't been caught in a jiggle here. This is his chance. Let's pass the mark. Good play from the boys there of Ents. It's Hades to close it out. Seven from him, but Dino, of course, top of the scoreboard 12. So they won't even, uh, competitive. I think that's my Just taking a little bit of a look at Sphinx's ping. Well, I'd say he's probably got to be in Europe somewhere. 23 ping for him. So that's uh, definitely under par. But back out mid we go. And Hens haven't really had too many dramas in getting this real estate on the map. d -Hart pushing quickly down towards Connector. Snappy with him once more. And this is looking like a similar routine. Kyojin has to get something close to a ramp here. And he's mounted up onto the flower pot. Or the vase. Or the urn. It's probably more like an urn. I, don't, I suspect there's probably plenty of potential bodies that could have been cremated into that. Oh, uh, urns only for bodies? Well, ash. Okay. Which usually... Yeah. yeah. I don't think you put flowers in an urn. That no. would be over bars. I thought urns just... They carried various things, like liquids. Liquids? I'm going to Google about urns. I could have sworn that the urn was often partnered with cre cremation. Cremation? Yeah. Mm. That's the way I want to go. 58 seconds here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your question is, the purpose of an urn? Zywoo, both with their name in the feed. It's not going to be kept level for long. Zywoo, every bullet seems to be connecting. And he's perfectly repositioned. He feels like he's dealt with one problem. His teammates clear it out. And now, just two remain for ends. Dodo, looking to kick and scream a little. Zywoo's the one to issue the gag order. And Snappy walking straight into Zywoo's crosshair. Denies long range with a Mac 10 they don't have head armor, you know. Yeah, there's a world. I mean, he's got two frags already. They have the bomb, and they are starting to extract to range. He'd love to be able to just bunny hop, grab the bomb, slink away for a plant. Ooh, I don't hate it. Bullets are going to come through. A Houdini maneuver here. Ah, and that's the end of him. Masuta confirms the bomb disappears. Eight to ends five. So, urn, uh, noun, number one, a tall, rounded vase with a stem and face, especially one used for storing the ashes of a cremated person. However, however, two, a large metal container with a tap in which tea or coffee is made and kept hot, or water for making such drinks is boiled. Ah, okay, so the urn for the coffee. Yeah, I don't think that Seems urn, a bit hot, bit dated, maybe. Yeah, so I don't know, let's just say it's a pot. A pot. They have a pot. A pot. There's the pot. We'll double orbs out again. Forced by once more for Ents. They've been really limping into a lot of these buy rounds. Well, it's just walking into that Zywu crosshair as well. He doesn't seem to be having too many issues. He's definitely peeking over his own smoke. If his teammates need any help, it seems they will. Call upon oh. him. That's a double D out of Hades. And a very convincing start to his A take. The pole. Three frags to the good. He's done it all so far. Evades the nade nicely. Spinks desperately looking for something to equip himself with. And that distraction is perfect. It enables Shocks to flank. 
Hades does not have the health for this. Looking for an ace clutch. Some great deagle work. And now even better on the AK. Only shock stands oh. and a very oh. quick one on the USP. Ooh, you can see the frustration there on Hades. Keep POV and on the camera, but very, very close to a masterful ace. Yeah, great round. And again, you know, Ents with these lower buys, they've been able to keep it competitive. Sure, only five rounds here, but they have kept this one in touching distance. Would love that sixth because we're looking at now two on the trot here for Vitality. This will be the third in a row if they're able to close it out. It doesn't really look like anybody from Vitality is necessarily slouching in this. You got 15 kills apiece for the likes of Apex and Zywoo. 10 for Masuda and Kyojin, and then Shox is on 9. So everybody's contributing when they have to, and Shox with an impact frag right there. So not all kills are weighed the same, but would have been a nice round there from Hades. Oh, it's happened again. <laughs> the mid-opening from Zywoo. Yep, Zywoo has once again opened up proceedings. His opening kill starts in his last 6-7 rounds, I reckon. It's Definitely in the high 60s and 70s. Apex onto Hades. No more impact from him. And that spray from Doto through the box headshot with a full spray. Definitely a little bit of luck involved. Lady Luck smiles in Doto's direction. This would be big from Deha, and it's delivered. Okay, so 5v3 becomes 3v3 becomes 3v2. Apex gobbles a bullet. Problems now. Zaiwu has to close it out, and he has not hesitated. Onto Dota. Now they know where Zaiwu is. They can probably assume Masuta, the B player, still rooted on his site and picking the lesser of the two evils here. It's a FAMAS to contend with. Caught with the nades in their hands. D has down 1v1.
I'm gonna open them all. You There's a couple of badges in there. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna boy. get a folder. It's all gonna be coming together, and I'll show my kids one day and say I used to play against these guys. Yeah, back in my day, back on Mirage, no day. less. So it's definitely relevant. Five men from the Vitality Ooh. Squad all gathered towards B. Look at these nades in hand, though. Hades has spotted a couple, and Snappy can release this one for a lot of damage. Oh, it's premature. They've been baited out, and that right there is not gonna land anywhere near. They wanted Spinks in his face. He's gone down. The B bomb site has been swarmed. This one's all over Red Rover. It certainly is, and nothing for Dota to even say about it. What are you going to do? He will pull up to Kitchen, ask a question. Kyojin will confirm his suspicions that there is an enemy there, and now grouping up for the double swing. One is all it takes. Okay. Did you ever at school play the like the What's the Time, Mr. Wolf game? Yeah, man, of course. So that's what I think like, maybe some of these jiggles could be, right? If a player like jiggles and the game is a little bit closer, yeah. you know? It is kind of, there is an yeah. element of that. What's the time, Mr. Mr. Wolf? Wolf? Three o'clock. One. Oh, two, that well, I couldn't remember the second three. component. So depending on the time was how many steps you were allowed to take? Yeah, well he'd have to count, right? Uh, and then, then you could go around. as quick as you could if you wanted to risk it, because he would turn around. Yeah. Yeah. And then he'd get you. What's the time, Mr. Oh, does that mean we're the piggies in that game? Like is it our Mr. Wolf kind of piggy? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if we're the piggies. We're the ones playing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they've gone for a force buy, and that's really uncharacteristic for Ents. Don't know if my sarcasm was thick enough there, but smoke's dropped. Here we go. They are on their way. Diha and Doto looking to combine. Good shots. A man advantage. Zywoo's next. Oh, couldn't quite finish his meal. Zywoo was so low, though. 10 HP. Someone needs to step up, take him down, and they will. Doesn't stop him before he's Galil found another target, though. But a 1v2 established, and this force works wonders. This could be Ents getting straight back into the CT side of things, right out of the gate. Yeah, they have to convert this one, though. If Shock steals this one away, real problems for Ents, because it will have to be an Eco in the next. I don't think they can run the Force Buys like they did within that T-half. On What's plant, Lost plan? Burnus, that's all not there. He has so much time to work with, right? So I think the longer you hit pause, this is when Ents have to start considering, is he going around the world? Is he going to come from B, up through underpass, up through top mid? And that's exactly what Spinks and Hades are investigating right now. You can see that this just... They're cutting that sound, not taking any fights. Shox has given himself a bit of an avenue here to get closer to the bomb. And it was dropped on bricks, so they didn't necessarily have the full info that it was still there. It's been scooped up now. Oh, and they've gone all around the world here. Sphinx is actually investigating over towards the B bomb site. Yeah, so a one on B. one is possible on A right now for Shocks. Ooh, Shocks, just by cutting noise. But I mean, it, the issue becomes his plant position. Hades may be able to deny. He's his best bet to deny 10 second shocks. You've got to clear CT now. Oh. oh, he's got time if he just landed the shots. A little sketchy on the Galil, but he did isolate his dual. Hades will save them, and that's end successful in the second round force. Yeah, now they can bring out the big guns themselves. Hades straight to an org there, and then four being purchased on up. So the buy's going to be looking good here. And the question is, do Vitaly want to continue the force by wars here early? I can tell you, the answer is yes. And a nice little deal shot there from Hades, even though Zyra was super low. Time a massive problem. Even if Hades had just lived there, would have felt like enough to win that round. But an AK for Zywoo, Deagles for the rest, and back underway we go. Zywoo and Shocks, sort of a death squad towards top middle, and well, they've got control. He is hunting. Of course, uh, right on the right spot. Drops out the smoke and pressure and mid-established. They've heard the AK, they know it's coming. But that seems to be a cue for Zywoo to actually get spurred forwards, clears out the right side of the window. Well, he has to, right? Like, this is the only real gun in a round like this. Kyojin hasn't looked up a ramp right now. This is about to get dicey. Yeah, it's very loud about it. Into the sandwich. Oh, an MP9 could not have been a better weapon to deal with him. Kyojin and Masuta both fall. And now Zywoo's AK will test it. He's got a quick adjustment, but D have better. And the rest is falling into place nicely for Ents here. It's Apex's Deagle. Just trying to take a couple with him and does manage to put one body down for the rebuy. Oh, I get the idea. Uh, like you think there's probably going to be a lot of focus towards middle just because of how much real estate Zywoo had taken, but when you consider it, it's kind of the other thing. They weren't fighting him. So if they're not fighting him, they're going to be a bit more passive on those areas, right? So the Deagle was hoping to capitalize on the space or the attention that Zywoo was meant to draw, but they didn't want to bar of it for Ents. And Dodo, you're not going to get two easier kills in your life there, mate. Back turns, dealt with. And now, well, Enzo, well and truly in map number one here, scoring 11 to 7, the Eco coming on out. Run boost and the swarm of the Vitality Bees through middle. He's been dinked on up, but he wants to re-peak. 
It's brave. They are charging up mid, and they do stand and melt the entire Vitality squad. Throwing five bodies into mid, you can't blame them. Getting it over nice and quick, an efficient finish for the uh, eighth of Ents. And they've got a bit of a bonus situation here, at least on that MP9. I wonder if Snappy's going to take that towards the underpass. Oh, he loves the MP9. Very oh, successful CT aggression from underpass from our French squad. Keep track of it, though, and uh, yet to see that Sphinx magic on the uh, individual level. So far, it's actually been Deha and Hades who've been consistently keeping up that fragging. Yeah, the dust was talking about the Polish Counter-Strike, right? You know, every now and again, one of those names creeps up. They get snatchy from Ego for a while there, or... You know, there's always a, always seems to be something in conversation, but Deha and Hades right now are probably flying that flag. Oh, Deha, so aggressive. The flash is brilliant. The trade, however, from Apex does arrive. Out, big fight from Shox. He's lost it to Sphinx. And ready very early into the piece. We've got a lot of bodies dropped. Apex looking to rejoin Kyojin, but he's not waiting. Straight up. Apex knife out. Should be a freebie for Hades as he doubles up on his frags for round 20. And a one versus three. Kyojin puts his thinking cap on. Nice play from Sphinx. Lingers in the flames for the ninth. One thing I'm noticing with Ents is they're not afraid of taking the fights here against Vitality, and that's a very good sign, right? When we were watching that Bad News Bears game, I don't know if they were necessarily afraid to take the fights, it's just they weren't winning any of the fights that they were really finding themselves in. Whereas you look at this game, you come in here, you think, yeah, okay, Vitality, they got Zywu, they're obviously the more experienced squad, they're obviously uh, what should be the better team. You look at the world rankings, all that good stuff. But Ents, they're putting up a big fight here, and there he is again. I know people at home, when they... Speculation. Yeah, when you're a fan of a, of a sport or a video game, you're going to be looking for something to dig your teeth into, whether it's a detail you found that others haven't. You want to feel like you're paying attention and starting that conversation. Oof, damn, he got snappy on this uh, anti-eco round. Just these deagles falling apart. anti deco round, to be specific. Yeah, they're just like happy to biff as well, right? So just peeking on in, taking the jewels. Found himself a two-man advantage here, and I think that'll continue to build because... I hate wow. that fight. I don't know how people make it look comfortable, but like, yeah, Hades so comfortable to knock that one down. Apex having exactly the same set of circumstance and the same result as well. D-Hat last to be challenged out here. Smoke is fading. Zywe will stick out his barrel. I think he's been... Oh, no, he hasn't been spotted. Oh, yeah. So, element of surprise, short-lived. Sphinx clears him out, and we will see the gap close to just one. So, I mean, after a competitive 10-5 half, Ents, by winning that second round force, have immediately commanded the respect of Vitality. Now, we're going to get back into the gun rounds here, and it looks like an AWP isn't preferential for Zywu. They're just going to stick with the five AK-47s. And the flash work here is good, right? You've seen a lot of these duels that Ents are going for. There always seems to be a flash assist or being alley-ooped by their teammates. Hades, this has to be impressive, right? This is what we were talking about. He, when he joined the team, when he took over from Alu, people were, he was definitely turning some heads and he's continuing to do so. Apex is in so much trouble here. The fact he gets one is massive. Snappy goes down, in-game leaders trade each other out. Yeah, nearly two there, dude. That could have been a catastrophe for Ents. Sphinx is going to have to find a bit more of a passive position. The damage keeps coming, as do the frags. Well, they know Sphinx is here as well. They know Zai was ramp. Two pushing in from Connector. He has to drop his smoke just in pursuit of survival here. It's going to be very tough to survive. The dunk does come in. Zywu too good. Doto posted up. Great oh. shot. If he could just deny. Bomb held. Zywu over the smoke. He's not ready for it. Doto falls to the AK of the Wu. And now d -Hurt looking for impact. No issue with the kit. Would have loved the smoke, but they are both opting for that ramp after plan. I think they to a glimpse of one. Oh, that incendiary bodes very well if he could try and draw the fight. One ahead of it. That's the hide shot, and he's found it onto Shocks. Plenty of time here. Will he assume they doubled up? He's operating under the assumption. Zywu makes it clear with the trajectory of the incendiary. It's not perfect. Chooses not to peek. You cheeky boy. He's outplayed you there. 
<laughs> That's really creative from Saiwu. Yeah. Like the molly didn't land exactly where he needed it to. But he but expects the swing off the back of it, right? Yeah, that's very... I, I don't think I've seen that corner of that... Uh, well, I, I guess... What are we going to call that? Wall? Used Tetris, in, yeah. in, the, in, the, in that way? Like, he's, he's used just the, the slanted edge of that wall to lob that molly out. That was cool. And there you go. A second round on this tee half here for Vitality. And it got very close because... This move out of ends was heavy towards A, right? Two pushing Palace, and then they had multiple members still over towards that A bomb site. So they had hedged and put a lot into that one, but we're back into the double orb. Spinks into one, Hades into the other. Shox is just rocking a Deagle here, and there's a Galil for Masuda, so this isn't a great buy for the French. Change of the setup. Spinks and Snappy dispatched into the B defense favor of that AWP. Now Dota advancing ramp. Kyojin is housed. Any CT aggressions ramp for now. Instead, fully blind and swung on. Damn, that is perfect from Vitality. Shock has even found another as well. Hades alarm bells ringing. Might Should want to save. save. Yeah. I don't know if they'll let them. This is a hard cross back. Masuta is in the position to challenge. Ooh, uncomfortable. Snappy wants to Guard the AWP back to its safe hidey hole. I don't know how safe it will be. Let's find out. Shox is already on the way. Yeah, they're actually sending out quite the scouting party here. So through spawn will be Apex. Shox is going to clear out this B area. The bomb just about halfway tick now. So if Vitality want to throw a couple of bodies at this, by process of elimination, they are going to work out they're over towards the B bomb site. And I think they already have done so. Just getting past these orbs now. Well, that's it. They're calling it off. Zawi doesn't want to push through the vent room. They don't want to contest against Sphinx's AWP up here towards the apartments. Bomb goes off. 13 now for Vitality, but I still feel this is going to be a bit of a struggle to get across the line. Lots of money for Ents to make the buy work. They could drop guns across. They can buy their own. So no dramas in the weapon department. And this is the pick here of Ents. So if they have anything in store, we'll have to take a little bit of a look. Second time out used. Need to uh, grab this one and chase those guns away if they want to make life a lot easier for themselves here. But only towards window to deny that smoke. A gap created. Good start. They're going to re-smoke it. They heard the extinguish. It enables Apex to take space. Oh, he's straight through. Oh, thread the needle to perfection. And just element oh, of surprise. He wasn't ready for that. And he looks to do one better. Hard spray. They're into the site though. Spinks for the tail end. Doesn't hit his shot either. And I'd, I'd be scared to repeat the smoke, the flame. And this looks like another vitality round. Pure reactive play. Apex, the one just leading by example as he opens up the B site. It is a 4v4. Looks like they're hanging around here to see if they can find a kill. Maybe someone getting a little bit lazy from vitality in this post plant situation. But if they go for this and they lose everything, I was saying they can go for another buy in the next, but that's going to hurt them going forward. And yeah, there's the call. Snappy from the grave, letting them know the save has to come on in. Those footsteps going to be heard a little bit from shocks there. So, Vitality, they grabbed their 14th, and that was great work from Apex. We see a lot of in-game leaders doing that. They get that mid-control on their own, but they don't normally just run up catwalk and get their entry kill onto the b bomb site. Like, I don't know how much of that was just him thinking and reacting off of the sound cues he heard, but knowing that they extinguished the window smoke and there's probably a gap means he's, his, his info is... The only person that could stop me walking up cat is the person on that gap. So I'm just going to re-smoke it and beeline for it because their setup is expecting that to be held by the gap. So he's kind of just won the round off the back of his own judgment there. Yeah, and the fact he's gotten past connector as well, which, you know, didn't look like yeah. it was heavily contested, was huge. So Apex doing what he does best. Hey, we got an entry frag there, and that's the two kills. That was it. That was the round. So uh, Apex guaranteed them the bomb site right there, and they just had to fortify to do the rest. But here we go. 
Oh, Hades bringing a spark of aggression into this run boost. A very hard shot. Oh. I always missed his too. Hades sticking around. He has to. He's been blinded and Kyojin arrives. They know they were both there now. Just corpses from Entz and Vitality with a two-man advantage in pursuit of 15. They would have to really screw the pooch here. They can play the numbers advantage, even trades. You can see how isolated these Ents defenders are. They need a hero moment out of one of these three names. And Snappy starting to feel the pressure. Oh, I can't even get one done. Shox wins his duel. Spinks with all the utility in the world. And AWP no less as well. Oh, Apex. Noisy, noisy. Very noisy. And Spinks will happily collect. It is just one. Could just be a consolation frag considering their positioning and finances. So Vitality look to lock in map point. Yeah, and the thing is 20 and 100 in the next round. So it's not like money has been a problem for Ents in too many of these at all. They've been able to get the guns out. They've just either been out positioned or their aggressive maneuvers haven't panned out. Another one right there that didn't pan out. They've gone, all right, let's go for mid control. Let's actually contest for a little bit of real estate on the map. They lose the underpass fight. They lose... The fight with Hades there in middle after the awkward exchange and, well, they lose the round very, very swiftly. So again, there won't be any dramas. Snappy, Deha, Hades can all buy. Even if Sphinx goes down, he can repurchase an AWP if he'd like. But there needs to be a response, obviously, here out of Ents. So this one is done and dusted and we'll be moving on to overpass as quick as you like. And this was Ents' pick as well, so if they are looking to do damage in this series, looking to start their Pro League off with a win, I think a lot of people would expect it to start on Mirage. Vitality opting for overpass. Is that, was that a surprise to you at all? Uh, I don't know. I, like I, their strengths in their, their veto, is it, is it, it's not as apparent as others, is it? One of the things that I was really curious of within this player break was if teams were just going to come out and, and prioritize different maps. It, it feels like for Vitality that hasn't really been the case because they're still just batting out Ancient. You think if you were ever going to you know, take a risk and start channeling something in. So... Seeing them go for a, for a map like Overpass, I love their pacing in the bathrooms on the T side and how they take a couple more risks than we see other teams do. And I think Kyojin actually fits the RPK anchor role on the B site quite well, so not too many dramas. Yeah, Kyojin's been a real threat as well from this underpass position. We saw him in the round prior opening up the account. Will this be the last round of Mirage then, or events got more to say about their map pick here on the CT side? Five required in consecutive fashion. Apex does get past step one into the ladder room and presence and pressure towards that window fight. CT's drop a rest here actually advancing on top of that. He confirms at least two mid. He spots Saiwoo. Kyojin unloaded his mag at him, but they have already set up Apex as somewhat of a late round trap. I say late round, it looks like he's actually struck already. D her down, that will get the CTs feeling a little hot under the collar and so divided. What was a 2-1-2 is now a 2-2, two, two, and they're on either sides of the map. If this gets any worse, oh, Apex no. onto Doto. Hades with it all to do. He's not expecting the whole team, though. Turns around, and their whole Vitality squad will be looking to close this one out neat and tidy. Detached from the pack is Spinks. Great shot prior to the pop, and now a chance from Snappy. Here we go. 2v4, 20 seconds. Suddenly, that bomb needs to go down quick. They can't really contest it. Zaiwu to bodyguard him. Posted up on that CT line. And just oh, as he timing. looks away, something perhaps for the CTs to work with. Vitality definitely favoured in this 2v2 though. And jumping oh, around, Zyro's doing parkour and it will be snappy to lock it in. And they go again. <laughs> Zai Wu's been trying to become a, what do they call it in French? Tracieur? A tracieur? A tracieur. Is that it? Um, I've been watching the videos. I've read the, I, I've read the word, I've never heard someone say it out loud. Right. It's like T-R-A-C-E-U-R. Well, if there's a Frenchman out there, tra tra let us know, because my accent's terrible. Yeah. But uh, that got to be interesting, because I thought once he repositioned to Tetris, he'd maneuvered to a power position, right? That's what I thought they were trying to set up right there. But just the timing, like Zaiwu just looking away as the peaks come through from CT. Smallest of margins, but that's a massive 2v4 from Sphinx and Snappy right there. Yeah, and you can see just how bad it looked at times. The fact that Sphinx even gets that frag towards Connector, it all starts to fall apart here. Snappy winning his duel against Kyojin to end it. So, let's see oh. what... Ooh, Doto brings in a very early frag. Dropping his incendiary as well. He's expecting a fast one. Swings into Zywu for more damage. Doto pops off on the site. And now just shocks in Kyojin. Okay, Ents. More to be shown here on Mirage, it seems, in the closing stages. Great Molotov. Should isolate some fights. It's going to be snappy to step out and deliver. And 
Kyojin not long for this world at 15 HP. He's tagged up already. Dunked nicely. Okay. okay. Well, that's a bit of pressure right there from Vitality. You could just see, like, the fact that Dodo gets that first was felt like a fadeaway kill and dropped that molly. He fell under pressure. And yeah, that was actually quite the pace coming out of Vitality. Bottom okay. one, it's like when you X makes me feel something. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, know, I, I, I don't know the name, but it's I know where you're going with it. Like couples therapy. Oh, dear me. Diha. Again, bodies. that's two opening frags from Ents in the first five seconds of our last two rounds, and it's going to get worse for them. Zaiwu pulls something back, but with a bomb going down, the CTs cannot contest this. Three versus four. Map point still in Vitality's court. It only takes one frag for it all to start spiraling out of control. They have Util. Sphinx and Hades both with nades. Zywa with more pressure. It's snappy onto Masuta. Very flustered as the, for the French. It's a default plan. Shocks can't even contest it. They can just defuse right now. They could. Just Shocks sit up, has boys. the element of surprise and they're defusing it. Three, two, one. Yo, they just took it like, what, what did they just say in the timeout? It should have been, hey guys, let's just default. Let's take it slow. Let's get some map control. Let's find an opening pick. They just ran on in again. All right. Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit worried right now. And it's heads up fights. Like, Ents more, like the fact Dozo gets one here is great, right? He's completely out of position. They played nobody over towards A early. That was complete mid-focus. Then as soon as they deal with the early pressure, he just turns his attention and grabs another kill, which catches him off surprise. So that's two rounds in a row. Dodo's done a great work to find a kill. Yeah. Here we go again. Bit frustrated, perhaps. Vitality, that's two opening picks they've conceded. Let's see if they can evade that this time. They haven't lost anyone in the opening 10. That makes a change. And three early leaning aggressive towards the A ramp. Suta responsible for housing that as mid details dumped by Apex. That's pressure onto Deha. Well, they didn't continue forward today. They're still close towards the ramp right here. So unless they go looking for Masuta, they're about to lose a lot of space. And Apex might be able to find a bit of a timing here. This smoke over towards Connector currently guising his position. D is far too smart for this, or far too sharp, as he does take off the head. Apex dead on connector. That's one of the problems there, right? You could see in that camera right there, he was calling something. So his focus was not just on his crosshair with somebody walking on in. He was actually communicating with his team about what they wanted to do next. And D has had the perfect little clear. This is starting to get very, very rough now for Vitality. The next round, we're looking at the Ooh. loss bonus of only 2,900. Oh, the timing from D is phenomenal. He's got such an understanding of when and where these jewels are coming from. Hades could say the same as he drops Masuta. They are clawing this right back. And just as I say that, Diha confirms that Shox has no impact into 29th round. And only Zaiwu to be confirmed. All right, solid work. Diha and Hades continue to be the star players of Ents here on Mirage as they look to lock in quite the five round. all over it. So let's get underway. Lots of pressure from Vitality up mid. Storming into the middle area. Deha 
brave to peek out on those sound cues and another body dropped. Ents to trip and stumble over their shoelaces on the final hurdle of a five round comeback. Snappy needed two. Masuta far too good. Apex even Maybe flanking. Four. Hades is looking the wrong way. He needs to find one quickly and has. Is he anticipating the flank? He is. Oh, Hades starting to show oh. off. And he's already confirmed there's one close right. I'm not sure. Oh, he's got the vision for that. Big gap. If Zywood gives him something. One little glimpse. Okay, he knows there's at least one on sight. Hades making something out of nothing here for his squad. I think he caught a glimpse. He's going through the smoke. Warp equipped, looking for the quick scope. Challenge, it's not far off. 